It is my privilege and uh, honor to present my work in this symposium. And uh, thanks for Tom and Flory for arranging my talk, my work into this symposium. In honor of Golden, I'd like to present my work. Oops, what's that? Okay. I'd like to present my work uh, in <coughs> the first crystallographic structure of memory fossil fluid kinase from red muscle. This is a collaboration with my lab and uh, that from Professor Wojtek Radoski and his uh, student Akasia Benishak in the Institute of Biogen Chemistry Polish academic science in Poland. In the, as I outline, I will give a brief introduction followed by the crystal structure of muscle PFK, including the folding of its polypeptide chain and the, the ligand by side, a model for the muscle PFK tetramer and the implications, and finally a summary and a future work. And uh, this is the textbook uh, figure from uh, Stryer's biochemistry textbook in the phosphorylchromic kinase catalyze uh, ATP dependent phosphorylation of fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. It's one of the great limit step in the glycolic pathway in the mammalian cell, or you can say in general, the PFK is inhibited by ATP, phosphorylpyrophate, and the citrate. On the other hand, it's activated and illustrated by a substrate of fructose 6-phosphate, and also activated by fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, AMP, ADP, and the most potent activator is fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. And uh, I also remember this. Okay, now the sequence alignment between the bacterial PFK and the muscle PFK suggests that the muscle PFK is evolved from the bacterial PFK by gene duplication, and that the amino half of the muscle PFK retains all its catalytic functions for the carboxyl half and evolved into the regulatory domain. And uh, as a matter of fact, the rapid muscle PFK has been crystallized more than 14 years ago. However, the crystal cannot be analyzed by X-ray diffraction. Among many different problems, and the, the most important one is the so-called conformational heterogeneity. As an elastic protein, the muscle PFK could have different conformations during the crystallization. But we found that the crystal of the purified recombinant muscle PFK cannot be diffracted by XRAP9. And uh, what I did was to construct a mutant in which the carboxyl of 18 amino acid residue would get it. The target the muscle PFK CDNA is insert in the plasmid PET 5A and then transformed into a E. coli deficient, into a PFK deficient E. coli strand, DF1020 D3, and then the express a recombinant muscle PFK as crystallized and uh, purified and crystallized using the heavy dog method. And uh, the X-ray diffraction work was performed by my colleagues in Poland using the synchrotron B9 in Hamburg, Germany. Under two conditions of ligate binding, in both scales, 3.2 angstrom resolution. And then the structure of the muscle PFK is solved by molecular replacement using the bacterial PFK and then the yeast PFK 
subunit as a searching module. Then the subunit of the muscle PLK has two symmetrical halves, the amino half and the carboxyl half. Each half has two beta sheets surrounded by 13 alpha helicons. And this powerful domain structure feature looks exactly like a pair of bacteria PFK subunit side by side. This is the tetramer of the bacillus PFK. Two identical subunits in the front and the two in the back. Let's so, okay, single subunit of bacteria PFK. Two beta sheets surrounded by 30 of a helicos. Then the uh, lightning bands that we identify by soaking the crystal first in a mixture of ADP, fructose 6 phosphate, and the fructose 2 6 bisphosphate, and found that the amino half of the muscle PFK subunit has a 3 ADP binding sites, and the carboxyl half has no nucleotide binding site but 3 phosphate ions. Now, in, it does not bind fructose 6-phosphate nor fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. And this crystal is such a uh, I mean, <coughs> uh, sold into ATP and found that two of the ATP molecules replaced by ATP and the third one retains as ATP. And then again, the carboxyl head has no ATP binding site by the three phosphate ions. This ATP site is equivalent to the catalytic site of the bacteria PFK, and this ATP site is closed by the lava overlap with the regulatory site in the bacteria PFK. And then this uh, phosphate ion in the carboxyl half, the position of which is symmetrical to the catalytic uh, side in the amino half, is equivalent to the fructose Q6 bisphosphate side in the yeast PFK. And then the more detailed structure of each of these sites, first the catalytic side in the muscle PFK, and uh, here is the ADP molecule but there's no substrate from 6 phosphate. And then when this is superimposed with the catalytic side of the E. coli PFK, and then the golden colored uh, elements are that in the one subunit of the E. coli PFK, and the purple colored uh, elements are that in the adjacent subunit of the E. coli PFK, and then of course the the, room, the blue elements are that it must be okay. Uh, here we have the ADP in the E. coli PFK, the ADP in the muscle PFK. Here's the fructose 6 phosphate, the monarchy, the substrate, which binds between the two subunits. That's why there's no uh, six, fructose 6 phosphate here, because it is a single subunit. And then uh, such a high degree of overlapping between the two proteins suggests that this side is most likely the catalytic side in the muscle PFK. The second, the focus Q6 is positive binding side in the muscle PFK. And this uh, fossil ion in the carboxyl half in, in this position surrounded by the structure elements in the carboxyl half. And then when it is superimposed with uh, fructose Q6 bisphosphate phosphate side of yeast PFK. Then the purple color elements are that in the alpha subunit of the yeast PFK, the blue color elements are that in the beta subunit of the yeast PFK, and here is the fructose 6 bisphosphate molecule, and uh, again it binds between the two subunit and then put these two sides side by side. Now we can see the evolutionary relationship between the catalytic side in the amino head and the regular side in the carboxyl of muscle PFK. Here at the catalytic side, 
the substrate from the six phosphate binds with the arginine and histidine, and then the catalytic residue is fatty acid, and then the six amino group, I mean six phosphate group of the substrate binds with the two arginine in the adjacent cellulite. Now, look at this in the catalytic side of fructose 2,6, this phosphate. And then again, that here is the arginine, and here is the histidine, and then the 6-phosphate <coughs> uh, residue intacts with the two uh, 6-phosphate uh, of the two sequences further in the X with the two arginine in the genesis subunit. Now, the replacement of the aspartic acid by serine in the catalytic side remove the lactic charge repulsion between the protein and the sugar is phosphate, which is substantially enhanced the affinity of the regulatory. Uh, the KDF, which is in the micromolar concentration, for the KM of focus 6 phosphate is in a millimolar concentration. And then, further, the unique ADP binding site in the muscle cable gate. This does not exist in the bacterial cable gate, even in the yeast cable gate, but in the muscle cable gate. Now, the binding of the ADP between the amino and the carbonyl cell suggests that it could induce a conformation between the two halves of the subunit because ADP has been known for years as an activator for the muscle PFK. Now then, a more detailed structure of the ADP binding is that these two phosphate binds with the amino cell have residues and the carboxyl have residues, and then the adenine ring is stacked by two phenyl one in the amino half, and the other one in the carboxyl half. Also, hydrogen bonds is an aspartic acid 542. Then we uh, align the amino sequence of the human muscle here, okay, with that of the rapid muscle here, okay, and found that the sequence homology is more than 97% between the two muscle here, okay, proteins. And then the red residues are the site of a mutation in human patient of Curry syndrome that is the deficient of the muscle PFK activity in the human patient. So that one of the mutation sites is this aspartic acid 542, which has responds with ADP, suggesting that binding of ADP to the muscle PFK protein does serve a very important physiological role, maybe we don't know what it is. Now, finally, the quaternary structure of the muscle PFK. The muscle PFK protein packed in the crystal unit cell is a diamond. But it does not bind substrate or uh, activator. And then look at the dimer interface and uh, then these are two identical uh, muscle PFK subunit. And uh, in the diamond interface, the two subunit intact with their carboxyl have a identical structural elements. Two alpha helicals in one subunit, two alpha helicals in the other subunit with a beta cheese behind of each and then compare that with the tetrameric structure of the yeast PMK, it's so alpha subunit, beta subunit, and alpha and beta in the back. Now look into the tetrameric interface, the alpha subunit and the beta subunit, in that exactly with the same pattern like that in the muscle PFK diameter, suggested that what happened in the muscle PFK as in this tetrametric interface, one subunit is missing in this position, and another is missing in this position. So that using the protein database of the yeast tetrametric structure, a hypothetical 
catalyst structure for the mass PFK can be constructed. This is that for a damper subunit in the yeast in a mass of PFK subunit. Now first uh, modeling of the mass of PFK tetramer, it has been wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, for many years that uh, the the minimum active oligomer for the mass of PFK is a tetramer. Now, when the pH of the protein solution is lower than 7, it is dissociated into two inactive dimers. I would suggest that the inactive dimer has such a structure instead of this kind of dimer. And further modeling the tetrasmus structure of the muscle PLK with the yeast tetrameric structure, and this is the alpha beta dimer of the yeast PFK. Okay, within the quaternary structure of the yeast PFK. Now, the two blue colored uh, molecules are that of the uh, focus of 2 6 base phosphate, and then the two uh, green colored molecules uh, are the focus 6 phosphate, the uh, focus 2 6 base phosphate, I mean, I have only seven and the substrate and the, the blue uh, and then the full two six is what is it the carbons have a reason severance so, and then the green uh, uh model of f six p and the amino have okay such so a model is suggests that in the tetrameric structure of the mass of the okay, four molecules of flux two six is phosphate in the egg at I mean at the carbons have of each subunit in the interior surface of the tetramer, where four substrate binds at the amino half of each subunit in the exterior surface of the tetramer. The binding of the full Q6 base phosphate would stabilize the mass of PFK it is active tetrameric structure where binding of the substrate from the six phosphate in the absence of activator has been known for years that the aerospicular activated muscle protein in its active tetrameric structure. Then uh, such a tetrameric structure of the muscle PFK can be present as a simple model. The four identical subunits of the muscle PFK in the, in the uh, tetrameric interface with their carboxyl half of each. And the four amino group points outward to the exterior surface of the uh, muscle PFK tetramer. And in contrast with that, uh, of a spectral speculated the model for the tetramer of the muscle PFK proposed by uh, Pullman and his colleague. And here is one subunit, the amino half and then carbons have one subunit intact with a adjacent subunit, the amino half intact with carbons half and carbons half intact with amino half and two such diamond makes a tetramer. So that in summary that uh, as a predict that the folding of the polypeptide chain in the muscle PFK resemble a pair of bacteria PFK subunit. Number two, the amino half of muscle PFK has two ATP sites and a specific ATP site. The carbons have has no nuclear site binding site but the three phosphate ions. And then further, a model for the tetramer of the muscle PFK is proposed and this model suggests the structure basis for number one, the pH dependent inactivation, reactivation of the muscle PFK. Number two, the mechanism for activation of muscle PFK by focus Q6 is phosphate, and the aerostatic by subject for 6 phosphate. So it's a future work, we will crystallize and the x-ray diffraction of the muscle PFK in the tetrameric form. And 
this is Wojtek. I met him in Poznan last year when I visited his lab. And uh, for this kind of, uh, audience, uh, on the way back to this country, I stopped in Mutsburg to meet our colleague Hans Gross. And uh, thank you for your time and the patience. Thank you.